This morning, President Trump is ramping up his defense of his handling of the coronavirus crisis after a contentious interview on Fox News Sunday. With COVID-19 cases spiking throughout the country in recent weeks, the president downplayed the increase in those cases and hospitalizations. I say flames, we'll put out the flames and we'll put out in some cases just burning embers. We also have burning embers. We have embers and we do have flames. And again claim the rise in cases is the result of increased testing. We have great testing because we have the best testing in the world. Many of those cases are young people that would heal in a day. They have the sniffles and we put it down as a test. But even his own top health experts have widely disputed that testing is to blame, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, whom the president criticized again Sunday. But he's a little bit of an alarmist. That's okay. And the president doubled down on his widely panned claim the virus will one day just disappear. Mr. Trump, who has only worn a mask once in an official public appearance, said he has no plans to impose a national mandate to wear one. I want people to have a certain freedom, and I don't believe in that. With that being said, I'm a believer in masks. I think masks are good, but uh, I leave it up to the governors. But the NIH director said on Meet the Press, masks should not be optional. Wear a mask when you're out of your house. It is bizarre that we have turned the mask wearing into something political. Joe Biden, who is leading President Trump by double digits in a new ABC News poll, responded to the president's interview Sunday, saying in a statement, your ignorance isn't a virtue or a sign of your strength. It's undercutting our response to this unprecedented crisis at every turn, and it's costing Americans their jobs and their lives.